Hello and welcome back to the Team Bulletproof channel. I'm BP Brad and if you haven't already, smash that sub button for me down below. So in today's video, we're going to give you guys the chance to win the brand new Wambulance Emo as well as this sick Sandcastle Sniper Spray. All you have to do is let me know why you enjoy my videos and in next week's store review, I'll be drawing two lucky winners. One to win the Wambulance Emo and one to win the spray. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Runway, the brand new rogue, her full kit has been leaked over on Twitter and we're gonna cover it today for you guys. So she's getting the Hydra Assault Rifle and the LR-15 Sniper as both of her primary weapons. Her secondary is gonna be the P12K and her melee is gonna be the Katana. Her gadgets are going to be the Trick Mine and the Semtex. And the perks are going to be Berserker, which is Reload While Sprinting. Padded Steps, Silence Your Footsteps While Not Sprinting. Helping Hands revives teammates faster. Nimble Hands, which increases weapons swap speed. Track Arounds, which when damaging an enemy reveals them to your team. And Headstrong, which gains 25 armor. Her ability is to throw a briefcase that grants infinite ammunition and refills gadgets. And her passive is carry two primary weapons. Now, Dahlia linked with Runway. Does that mean that Dahlia is going to be able to run a DMR of her choice and an SMG of her choice? which would make Dahlia a super strong rogue going forward. And I would go as far as saying one of the best rogues in Rogue Company. Now, let's move back onto Runway. She has two primary weapons, of which are very medium to long range. And this could mean that she's going to sit a bit further back and be a bit less aggressive than some other rogues. Now, her gadgets do support that statement because the trip mime is very much hold a point down. And the Semtex is not really something you want to use when attacking a bomb site because it's very hard to down someone unless you hit them directly. So I think Runway is going to be a very strong defensive character, especially when you can replenish things like trophies, trip mines, grenades in order to hold off some attacks. Now, when you are on a fence, I think this rogue is going to be a little bit less useful, but her ability could come in clutch when you're trying to deal with clearing some of those extra trophy systems. Now, Tigre Savage says, well, they keep pulling me back. Damn you, Roko, over on Twitter. Now, Anthony126 says, all the casual saying she's underwhelming when every comp player knows she's going to be permabanned with that passive and ultimate ability. Like I say, especially paired with Dahlia, she's going to be very useful. The Unrest Cure says, I'm going to say OP, double primary, double lethal, and infinite ammo and refill gadgets. Something has to give. Spafford said, I didn't think you could come out with another rogue character more OP than the last drop, and somehow I'm always blown away. Can't bound everyone in rank, so it's going to get interesting on Demolition, that's for sure. And D Griffin 256 doesn't agree with that. Looks very underwhelming, to say the least. I guess all the new rows can't be bangers. So what's your opinion on this rogue? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But also remember to let me know why you enjoy watching my videos. And in next week's store review, which will be dropping Tuesday, I will choose two lucky winners. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, see you in the next one. Peace!